Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. So today we are going to continue our story about RFID and the RC522 model. This in front of you is our code from our previous episode, so if you have not been following this mini-series of tutorials, please check my previous few episodes in order to jump into it. And today I'm going to show you a few interesting functions. Uh, first function is uh, perform self-test. So if you have some car that you are not sure about whether it's working or not, this is the way to check for it. And there is another interesting function that is a function for uh, setting UID. And for testing ID, I can only uh, show you an example how to do it, but we cannot test it. Because at this moment I don't have uh, any card uh, that I can change UID. And I have to warn you, if you have card that you can change UID on, be very careful and do such a thing only if absolutely necessary and only if you know very well what you are doing. Because that kind of process could turn your card useless. So first thing that we are going to do today, I'm going to uh, show you how to perform self-test for your card. Uh, so I'm going to delete uh, this code from this point, so we don't need this anymore. And I'm going to use only one function and that is MFRC522 per form self test PCD perform self test and we are going to create one boolean variable test and we are going to test for it. All right, so I'm going to build this code and before we test it, I just want to add another message because with this code, if our card is fine, we are not going to uh, get uh, any result. I just want to say something like this. So now I'm going to build it. All right, to upload it. Okay, opening serial monitor. I'm resetting my microcontroller. And now we are going to test my card. As you can see, everything is totally okay. I'm going to test another card right now. And we are getting same result. All right. And about that other function, if you want to change your UID, you are going to do it in this way. So first we are going to create one uh, byte array, like new UID, new UID, four bytes. Then you are going to provide content that you want to uh, write as new UID, something like uh, something like this, then I'm going to create byte status and function uh, uh, MFRC522 set UID, my first set UID, so first argument is going to be new UID, second argument is going to be number of uh, bytes but in form of a uh, byte and I'm going to set third argument true. And now we are going to check if status not MFRC522 status ok we are going to print some message to the screen change UID error ok and return so now for this example we don't need this piece of code for self test now I'm just going to uh, upload this uh, code to my microcontroller in order to show you what is going to happen if you cannot change UID on your card. And as I said at the moment, I don't have any card where I can change UID on. So I'm going to build this. All right, I'm going to upload it. All right, I'm opening my serial monitor. 
resetting. I'm going to press my card right now. Let's see what we are going to get. So with this type of card, I cannot change my UID. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new. So if you like this content, please like, subscribe and see ya.